Can... Yes. Uh, good evening, everybody, and I welcome you all for the 13th General Club meeting for India chapter of Council for Ayurveda Research. And uh, this is our second year of General Club meetings in India. I welcome you all as on behalf of uh, CAR uh, India chapter. My name is Dr. Pranita Zoshi Deshmukh, and I'm working as chair for India chapter. Uh, today we are having uh, our presenter, Dr. Sushan Sood, and uh, I would like to uh, call upon Dr. Yashaswini Bharadwaj, a CAR volunteer for India chapter, uh, JC, uh, to introduce uh, Dr. Sood. And then, uh, Doctor, you can begin your presentation. I welcome you uh, in this meeting and thank you for accepting our invitation. So over to you, Dr. Yashaswini. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Pranita, and uh, happy to see you all here. Yeah. So um, I'm very glad to welcome Dr. Sushan Sood uh, today for our first uh, general, general club of this year. Dr. Sood has completed his BAMS from Gujarat Ayurveda University, Jamnagar, and he finished his um, master's in Rasa Shastra Bhaisheji Kalpana from SDM uh, College of Ayurveda, Udupi. He is presently working as assistant professor in Department of Agaratantra in Institute of Teaching and Research in Ayurveda, Jamnagar. He has an experience of 13 years and he's been uh, in, involved in, in the central uh, government funded um, uh, projects of research and is also um, a keynote speaker and uh, is actively involved in many of the international and national um, um, projects and seminars. Welcome you, Dr. Sood. Today you'll be presenting um, an analysis of the paper, uh, The Impact of COVID-19 Pandemic on Ayurveda Education Challenges and Solution, which has been published in International Journal of Ayurveda and Traditional Medicine in the year 2021. Welcome you, yeah. sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, well, first of all, I'm very much happy to be here and uh, seeing you all. I'm happy to see my colleague, uh, Dr. Yashashwani, after a long time, uh, Dr. Pranita, and very happy to be here. Thank you so much for giving me this uh, opportunity to share my thoughts and reviews and to be a you know part of this general, general club uh, India chapter meeting. I've, uh, you know, since long I've been hearing about this, uh, you know, this council fight with research and I was, uh, you can say, a uh, half, uh, you know, participant of this uh, council indirectly because I was in touch with some of the, you know, members long back. I've been associated with the Association of Ayurvedic uh, Professional uh, Physicians from North America. I'm a member of that. So I've been in touch with some of the, you know, members. Uh, again, very happy to be here and uh, let me start with my presentation. Uh, salutation to Lord Dhanvantri, Om Namami Dhanvantri, Adi Devam, Sura Surair Vanditam, Pad Padmam. Uh, we all know that Ayurveda is the mysterious box of medical science. Yet, there are certain things which are undiscovered. We need to get many things out of it talking about aspects of, you know, Ayurvedic science and different uh, prospectus of Ayurveda. Still, it's a mysterious science because, <clears throat> you know, we all know that how much we know about our science, still we do not know many things yet to be discovered. Anaditvad. So, Shashwat, Anaditvad, these are the terms which are reflecting uh, on this particular, you know, platform to ourselves to understand the concept. So starting with that, uh, the disclaimer specifically because as this particular general club meeting is specifically on certain you know titles which are being published in international peer-reviewed journals. So this presentation is specifically for educational and academic purpose, which is uh, you know to understand methods for critically appraising a science scientific uh, manuscript. It by no means intends to harm or criticize the investigators or any other person connected to the manuscript. The views expressed here are 
sole purpose to be academic the presenter yes. mm. of this particular uh, sushant excuse me uh, your slides are yes, not working uh, okay 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 uh, still ma'am it is showing the very first slide yes yes okay 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 i'm sorry for that uh, let me reshare it once again yeah please Ma'am, uh, is it visible now? It is there. Uh, the screen is visible, but still the first slide is visible. You need to put it on the slideshow mode. I I have. I did that. And uh, it is moving on my screen. I don't know if it is okay. having some technical issue or what. Just a minute. Just a minute. Would you like to send it across to us so that uh, we can try to uh, put that? Uh, yeah, just try once more. You're on mute, Dr. Sushant. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying it once more. Mm -hmm. Now it's visible, ma'am. No, this uh, maybe it must be there. Some there must be some lagging. We'll just wait. Yeah. Meanwhile, you can send it uh, to our email. I'll I'll do that right away. Uh, could you please let me know the email address so that I can send my presentation? Can send it on WhatsApp or uh, or I'll just put that. In. Yeah, you could do that on WhatsApp. Yeah. Oh, I think it is moving now. Yeah, we are on the second one. Mm. Yeah. It is? Yeah. Yes, uh, it's the second slide now. Okay. Ma'am, I've gone to the third slide for the disclaimer. Is it showing on the screen? Not yet. No. No? No, it, it's not reflecting. Then you know precisely this article is definitely going to be very good because this is what is the problem in online things. Okay. So, <clears throat> you know, um, would you like to send it across to us? I'll, I'll, I'll do that right away. Okay. Just a sorry for that. I'll do that. Ma'am, shall I WhatsApp it or email? Uh, WhatsApp will be fine. Uh, then... Yes. Yeah. Probably because the file size and everything would be a little uh, you know, heavy on heavy the WhatsApp. On WhatsApp. Okay, then you can, you can choose email. to email it. Mm. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, just let me know the email address, please. Yeah, I'm sending it across. Please, please. Thank you. Have you received the email? Yeah, I have received. I'll do that.
Ma'am, I have sent the mail. Uh, please check if it is received. Not yet. You can also send it on WhatsApp if uh, it is in PDF. Or uh, also mark a copy to Yashasini so we can both access it. I haven't received it yet. Must be because of, yeah, got it. Got it, huh? Okay, is it visible now? Yes, it is visible. Okay. Just a minute, it's not showing on my screen, just a minute. Oh, okay. Shall I go ahead or uh, you are sharing from your screen? Hello. Thanks, my Zoom has got stuck. Okay, shall I share it from my it's Nothing. Because I, I, I can't see anything, even my uh, you know, audio profile and the video, everything it has been stuck okay. completely. Uh, would you try signing out and signing in again? Uh, Dr. Sushant? Okay, sorry for the inconvenience, just wait for one or two minutes. Uh, we are just in process of uh, getting it uh, done. Okay, Dr. Sood, are you there? Hello. Yeah, uh, I can. Yeah, ma'am, I have signed it once again. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, uh, yeah. Now, uh, Dr. Yashaswini will share the PPT from her end, and then you can continue. Okay. Come on, sure. Sure. Uh, let's turn on the camera if possible so that uh, you'll be visible. Yeah.
Yeah. So shall we? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm. Uh, I'm just uh, share, trying to download and uh, link it here. Uh, Dr. Sushant, you can meanwhile start and then uh, the presentation will be visible. Yeah, just... Mm -mm. Uh, sorry for the inconvenience on the participants. Uh, we are just resuming. Thank you. Yeah. By the time we get shared and everything, and these are some of the technical issues even we become handicapped in this, all these things. Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, moving on, Specifically, uh, as I was talking, that uh, this particular presentation is mainly for the education and academic purpose. So uh, we all know that uh, you know, uh, I'm saying, uh, I think your mic is also having a disturbance. Uh, uh, the it is getting a friction there. So there is a background now noise for it. Yeah, you need to just hold the mic maybe close. So it will be reduced. Now screen sharing is on. Can you see that, Doctor? Can you all see the screen? Yeah, screen is visible now. Okay. Uh, put it on the slideshow, please. Yes. Uh, it says it is. Uh, on the slideshow mode for me. Okay, yeah. Now Can you see the change of slide? Yeah. Does it reflect everywhere? Can you all see when the slide changes? Yes. yes. There is a little okay. lagging, but it is on. Great. Okay. So, Dr. Sushant, uh, can you see the slides now? Uh, we can't hear you. It seems there's some problem with the mic. We can't hear you. Uh, no, maybe you you should. Hello. Yes, all good now. Yes. Yeah. I yes. hope so. Yeah. Fine. Okay. Uh, can we move for the next one, please? Next slide. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, I hope it's audible now. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so to start with, uh, just to give a uh, little bit highlight about uh, this channel club and everything, I know every one of our aware of is because uh, uh, what for me as it's a very first kind of a, you know general club meeting so i wanted to a little highlight about because i've seen that uh, some of my international students they are also joined it for the first time so just wanted to be a little clear about this journal club and everything that there are four c's for any kind of a journal club probably what i feel that comes under the you know category of criticism content uh, co-legality and commercialism you know, to understand about this forces of any of the journal club, it merely takes an analytical study, the reading analysis of that particular article, what impact that article has on a commercial level as well as on the social level, considering the audience, uh, understanding the audience output and what expected outcome of that journal is on the psychosomatic aspect of their audience also. So looking into the all that you know, four C's of any journal club, any any uh, journal club uh, meeting uh, are happening. So considering that any connectivity of the research to the practice is the main aim of any kind of a journal club. Next, please. So to talk about this particular, what is an article writing? You know, we have seen so many of articles getting published in n number of, uh, you know, journals, whether they are international, national, regional levels, peer review, non-peer reviews, indexed, partially indexed. So there are a number of, uh, you know, journals in, in terms of Ayurvedic, uh, you know, science also. But 
the basic component of that is that we need to ask certain questions that uh, who wish to write so how frequently we read the research articles whatever uh, research articles are being published in uh, you know different zones of peer review journals are we really looking into those aspects from each and every component how much we react for the content of a published article many a times it happens that we just read the article but we do not understand the content the the communicating uh, you know aspects of that particular you know journal which is making us attached to that particular subject and topic and how much participation is made in the field of research either literary or experimentally so many a times it feels that writing becomes a struggle but probably i feel that publishing an article is the right time to break the silence in ayurveda because evidence based documentations and everything it becomes a prime motto and prime evidence for any kind of a thing so considering that article writing is something which nobody believes except the person who made it the these are the situations in which a person feels that why i am supposed to write an article for what purpose so considering those four c's in mind any component of that c which reflects in the writing part it should get an you know uh, an attachment a communication with the audience at a level of their uh, you know uh, communication levels so talking about that next please what is an article writing so an article could be a non fictional prose forming an independent part of a publication it could be a simple piece of writing usually intended for publication in magazine or any kind of a journal an article is written for a wide audience so it is essential to attract and retain the reader's attention it should give opinions and thoughts as well as its facts so what is required for that particular article there is no way to get experience except through experience so how to publish what to publish these are certain things which need to be originally thought upon for an effective writing in a very highly qualified manner you know you might be seeing and we all are aware that you know many types of articles are there considering the review the clinical the you know experimental it could be of any platform but many of them they do not have the hardcore content they are just being you know uh, copy pasted from the our classics or some contemporary science and they are being published randomly which doesn't have any you know mass content or a positive content which gives an connectivity to the audience also so what is expected actually so the expectation it it should be original what's new in that particular article what was the content is there enough content in that particular article to have a connectivity with the audience to whom it is being uh, written for and how can be that article made very simple can it be very clear or shorter so these are certain things which can which needs to be kept in our mind before starting an any article whether it is in the form of review or in the clinical or experimental any any category but considering the you know the critical analysis of that particular article also these are the things which needs to be kept in our mind and this is what i have uh, tried to incorporate into my presentation so that it can have a good connectivity and the write up which has been shown in the article which i am going to discuss in my presentation so that it becomes more clear at this particular platform next please so how to write an article writing an article has many components not going into the detail of that so once we are aware of that particular uh you know thought which comes into our mind in which i need to or any person needs to go ahead with any kind of article irrespective of whatever field he is into so there are certain checklist before starting an article which needs to be kept in our mind the topic the kind of a topic because a uh, topic i feel it's something which should have a direct impact in the mind of the audience just by seeing a topic of that particular article uh, audience uh, you know uh, audience should feel the connectivity itself it should give something a unique you know uh, thought in the mind that this article needs to be read many a times to to get an extract out of it so there are certain checklist before starting an article uh, that uh, whether a significant advancement has been made is there anything which can be uh, repeated if at all it is required many a times it is seen that uh, you know 
some of the topics are being repeatedly written but the presentation makes it unique whether you are doing it in a you know review form or a, uh, as i said in other categorical form so these things needs to be kept in our mind before starting an article next please so uh, friends today i have taken uh, the journal which is international journal of ayurveda and traditional medicine now this particular journal i have selected because this is a very recent journal i i was very much surprised to uh, see this journal when i was uh, you know writing some of my papers for the publication i got to know about this journal uh, this particular journal is an open access peer review journal which has been established in the year 2019 itself so it is a very uh, you know recent budding stage journal but this journal has made a very good impact in uh, many of the platforms we are being seeing that uh, there are n number of journals which are uh, you know making it in the platform of review forms or in some other categorical forms but this specific journal made me uh, you know interest to have a interest on a sector of some of the review articles which were you know published in this particular journal now this is this journal has an uh, online and online international standard serial number with 25825410 the publication website is www.ijatm.org name of the publisher is ayurved shala and the publisher are from jaipur rajasthan only uh, number of issue per year now this is a biannual journal only two uh you know publications or annually only two times it is publishing the journals okay publishing the issue so uh, in the month of june and in the month of december so every six months they are publishing it which is making it more authentical because as i said it's an open access peer review journal so any article which is being given for a peer review access it should have that much time to understand and to give the narrations or to time to the reviewers also so that they can uh, give their best authentic uh, you know uh, feedbacks and the reviews on that particular journal also the impact factor is 4.26 now many a times as you know some of the students are also joined in this i want to make it clear that we always look into the impact factor you know um, considering the uh, scoring factor and everything impact factor doesn't have that much of the only thing what we need to kept in that mind is how much that journal is authentic whether it is an index peer review journal because nowadays many journals are being you know uh, coming up with new things and they are you know charging uh, many a times i have seen that they are not even charging they are just publishing it in this just one week or 10 days but whether that journal is indexed at any uh, national international platform or not because considering our ayurvedic fraternity field you know ugc pubmed scopus index google scholars medscape pub media these are the things which we always have in our mind considering the uh, you know index journals and everything so this particular journal next please the networking is in the orchid id the twitter research gate in the academia facebook linkedin and google scholar the journal has been a pkp index now this pkp index is a database of articles books and conference proceedings using pkp's free open source open journal systems open monograph press and open conference systems software application now this makes this journal a unique one now because why i'm uh, insisting on this particular journal many of the journals they are claiming that they are peer review and everything but this journal has given an access in the form of open source open journal systems for example we have submit one manuscript to a journal and that has been given to certain reviewers for the review now we do not know as an author that to whom it has been gone the reviewers give the comments and then we have to do accordingly move accordingly and then after a certain uh, you know time uh, factor we need to get it published in the uh, journal that particular journal but considering this it has a open source open journal system that nothing has been hidden reviewers can have a direct contact with the authors also they can have it is it's something like we we open uh, you know access also there is nothing hidden between the author and the reviewer also but it has a very 
there could be a certain queries in that that why that reviewer and author they come in one to one contact because then it becomes nothing authentic and genuine between the publication because if a reviewer says it is it needs to be published then it will get published otherwise it will be discarded completely but considering this open monograph process they have certain links which are being generated in certain sectors that even the authors and the people who are associated directly and indirectly with that uh, you know a specific paper they can also have an access and they can also give certain suggestions and advices on that particular journal that is why they have kept a open conference system software which is being generated with the authors and the reviewers and the editorial uh, board in which they have a common synchronization of that specific article so this is something very unique coming up with certain journals and this is one part of it registered in an open archive registry open archive initiative protocols for metadata harvesting which is an emerging standard for providing well indexed access to electronic research resources on a global scale also next please so talking about this friends i have selected a particular topic for this journal club meeting that is the impact of covid 19 pandemic on ayurved education the challenges and the solutions the particular topic has been published in the international journal of ayurved and traditional medicine the paper got accepted on 7th uh may in the year 2021 and it got published on 11 6 2021 as i said in the month of june and december they are publishing it at biennale uh it is the volume third issue fourth and june 2021 it is the source of support is nil in this particular uh, publication and there is no conflict of interest none has been declared the full text is available on this particular website next please now uh talking about the authors there are three authors who are associated with this particular article uh, all of them they belong to the uh, department of kai chikitsa national institute of ayurveda jaipur uh, the very first author is dr vidya bharti sharma who is a first year post graduate scholar uh, dr bharat kumar padhar who is a lecturer in the department of kai chikitsa national institute of ayurveda jaipur and the third author is dr hml meena who is an associate professor and head of the department of kaichiki site nia jaipur next now before going to the detail of my uh, article again i would like to highlight that writing the title and abstract for a research paper it needs to be very concise precise and meticulously is the key so just by seeing the topic now this particular topic when i uh, you know when I, when i was going through different uh, you know uh, topics what i Uh, you know what i was supposed to select this particular topic you know attracted me on a point one point that the situation has demanded this particular topic now the kind of a situation we are into it you know we are facing it probably as an ayurved faculty members the students the mindset of the students this particular uh, topic made me to go into the detail of this particular article so as i was saying the title itself should be a uh, first step impression the title and the abstract are the most important parts of a research paper and should be pleasant to read so that you should get an idea that there is something to be read in the depth of this article to come to an outcome of or the you know the 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 specific uh, communicating uh, skills what the authors they have tried to put it into this manner so the title should be descriptive direct accurate appropriate interesting concise precise unique and should not be misleading many times there are certain things which have been mentioned that they mislead the title the title is not matching with the uh, the 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 matter what has been published in that particular article next please so as i was saying the abstract considering that it should be concise with the main text of the paper especially after a revision is made to the paper and should include the key message prominently you know if you are seeing my slide i have just made one clip over there we all are very much aware of this thing that this particular movie i i am very much sure everyone has seen this movie apart from probably our uh, you know international uh, uh, people who have joined over here if they are not aware this was the biggest blockbuster probably in the year of 2000 uh, you know 
11 or 12 the name of the movie is three idiots so when the trailer came you know i'm trying to make it in a manner that just just the abstract and the title gave us an influence about this particular movie so there are certain sectors the our mind keep on repeating that what will be there the core matter of that particular film or that particular movie because the title has attracted us three idiots recently bahubali was there you know so these are the things which makes us uh, you know keep attracted keep attached with that particular title that we are supposed to be linked ourselves with the core matter of that also because it keep ourselves engaged into that manner so the abstract and the keywords are the main influence of that article which makes it more clear next please so talking about the particular topic the impact of covid 19 pandemic on ayurved education challenges and solutions the fundamental rationale of writing a review article is to make a readable synthesis of the best literature sources on an important research inquiry or a topic now the title gives us an idea that this must be a review article itself there is nothing which has been uh, highlighted in the manner of clinical experimental or any of the platform this is a simple review article the impact of covid 19 pandemic on ayurved education challenges and solution but on the contrary we need to understand that there are n number of you know categories for the review article also but what this title gives us an idea the title appears to be very clear and comprehensible heading of the paper shows us the method based review study that there must be some method that they have reviewed certain things when it comes to ayurved education challenges or their solutions the caption of the study comprehensively locate and synthesize research that bears on a particular question related to covid 19 pandemic situation because right now third wave has started again everything was fine again it has gone back to the same uh, you know square zero that how it started where it started so it has comprehensively located us back to the you know the same situation where we started authors have sets out clear objectives for the review and articulates the specific research questions or hypothesis that will be investigated in the study so it has made us more clear by just simply reading this topic next please the key issue sorry can you make it back please yeah the key issue or problem that the paper is addressing is towards the challenge and the confronts what an ayurved academicians and students are facing during pandemic times now these are the things which we can understand from this particular topic but why is this problem important why should you uh, as an audience we should care about this because facing an unprecedented situation what are we into the problems and the challenges encountered by an ayurved faculty in switching to and providing online learning will serve as a reference for other countries also as they explore and implement online teaching programs also so this particular topics gives us an idea that there are certain sectors which probably the authors are going to narrate in a elaborate manner in an article so that we can get an idea that what could be the uh, you know different advantages disadvantages or the solutions which are being high which are supposed to be highlighted in a paper whether it is in a review form whether it is a clinical form okay let us see in that next please so coming to the abstract and keywords now when we look into the uh, i hope everyone has the paper with them the links uh, through the links uh, whether it has been supplied to all uh, i hope it has been received by all the participants so if you go through that uh, particular paper and while looking into the abstract and the keywords which have been used by the authors you know there are probably what i can say that there are three kinds of abstract writings one is informative one is descriptive and one is the official abstract now when we look into this particular abstract this is a structured abstract structured abstract means which has a specific background any any specific materials and methods which has been implemented in that particular abstract with certain outcomes or the possible outputs what an author wants to have through this article and the conclusion or with the results so considering that abstract it is a structured abstract which 
gives us an idea in the word limit of 250 words it has been done now when we look into the any kind of abstract and everything considering this specifically abstract which has been published in this article uh, nearly 250 words has been used now considering those 250 words and abstract what kind of a keywords how many keywords needs to be used in that so as per the rule of nlm national library uh, you know marketing school they are saying that 500 word articles should have one person keywords so five keywords are needed if your abstract has a 500 word article so here 250 words nearly two or three uh, keywords could have been used so this collective observations has been summarized and has been decorated in the abstract what has been published in the article the article also gives us an critical information provided with a specific aim when you look into the methodology they have given a specific aim considering and keeping that aim in mind the abstract has been written in a very structured manner authors have given some recommendations also from their side that what could be the possible solutions in the field of ayurvedic education during this covid 19 pandemic situation keywords are precisely highlighted and complete overview of paper is tinted in this particular abstract now just by sim simply getting a zest of this abstract we can get an idea that what authors they are up to and authors they have done very commendable work by giving this abstract in a very defined structured manner next please the paper has been published merely as an observational review research i was talking it earlier also authors have shown a keen interest in the use of online technology in ayurveda education and an awareness of the current and future trends in the use of technology to enhance the teaching and learning aspects narrative reviews are written by the authors in an easily readable format and which allow consideration of the subject matter so I was, as i was talking earlier that you know before starting an article some things should come in our mind that my article writing skills should be in such a manner which is very readable easy to understand and in a very precise manner so that maximum communication or maximum engagement engorgements of the audience should be with that article takes place but there are certain uh, i have made a short analysis of the missing items which i uh, which we feel probably they could have been little more elaborative in the you know the abstractive parts because as we are doing the critical analysis there are certain things which uh, which can be probably not uh, you know uh, in the suggestive manner but can be little opined because article writing is a skill so certain things which could have been incorporated okay that that there is lack of little data collection by survey with the help of feedback now when we when we go into the abstract form and everything what we have seen in the abstract the article gives an idea that there has not been any survey study carried out in that it is just a narrative review that what the uh, you know probably the mindset of the authors and the uh, you know the the understanding of the others that they have given the understanding from their mindset their point of view but in a very narrative manner in a very generalized manner but the missing facts were probably what could have been incorporated in the article in a manner that there could have been a five point likert scale questionnaire with close and open ended questions and focus group discussions also with the students they have given a generalized idea about the mindset in a very generalized manner from the mindset of the students and the academicians but considering the review as it is a narrative art review article the prisma statement elaborated to write a well designed review articles contains a 27 item checklist which could have been uh, you know incorporated and in, uh, it could have been helpful during the preparation of a review article or doing a meta analysis of that because ultimately the zest of that article should be very clear to that audience in order to get an uh, engorgement of particular communication next please coming to the introduction of that particular paper you know when we look into the introductory part of this particular article ideally friends the introduction should end with a clear description of the article scope aims and structure 
that is a walk through the main topics that will discussed and the order in which these will be covered you know the introduction should be giving us an idea about the main hardcore uh, you know concepts that that could even lead to the some of the information which has been published in the past what, what is the current scenario what could be predictable in the future so introduction should be considering these three categories so when we look into this particular uh, this article the introduction it gives us a statement of the problem with a short discussion of its importance and significance which has been mentioned by the authors that what problem an ayurvedic student and ayurvedic academician is facing during this covid-19 pandemic a brief background of sars with declaration of pandemic status is also mentioned that how it has been started what was the first case how it has been you know gradually uh, uh, you know uh, going on the inclination with the cases then the peak it went on the very high scale then it lowered down and again now the third wave has started so uh, you know till the year 21 till the time it has been published they have tried to incorporate the background the history of that so that it it should be uh, cleared in the mind of an audience also that how these things have started and what was the core matter in between them. they have also incorporated incorporated about the uh, declaration of the world health organization when it was uh, declared as a pandemic how how it gave an impact in the mindset of the you know ayurved fertility also so mentioning of past covid positive data along with their significant effect on all the sectors including the education sector worldwide they have also incorporated about the covid positive data which has been shown in their introduction also next please authors have tried to put on all the narrative reviews going on since the outbreak of the pandemic as i was saying right now that all those things which have been happened in the past how it has been done it has been very elaborately introduced in the very initial step in the introduction topic that they have incorporated about those part also in order to make it more clear into the mindset of the audience status and considerations regarding institutional sectors are also highlighted in a very precise manner with the impact on the ayurved fraternity at the levels of psychological emotional and most importantly self development level also they have also highlighted a little bit part of that particular in order to have a consideration of the initiation of this particular article authors have made an attempt which has been made into integrate and synthesize the overview of the current state of knowledge also that what current status or what of the what what students they are going through the mindset how they are looking into the online education how they are learning from the uh, the considering this pandemic situation how they are making themselves self dependent on the particular you know technology things on which they are not getting the you know exposure of uh, clinical sites and so that has also been incorporated in a very elaborate manner in the introduction part also next but there are certain you know sectors which again as i said along with the uh, specification which has been mentioned in the article there needs to be a short analysis of the some missing items which could have been incorporated probably in a better narrative where that there is no objective hypothesis benefits expected which has not been stated in any of the paragraph when it comes to an introduction part which is a very important because we are looking into the objectives and the benefits what we are supposed to get by reading the introductory part the positive aspects and the facts presented in the publication are not emphasized they have given little narrative part but the positive aspects and the facts are not presented the objective of the article the goals and the purpose its domain is not defined properly though they have incorporated their aim but the objectives are not defined properly statements mentioned in the paper are not in the larger conversation of academic community readers will not get much idea from the article introduction or uh, reiterate the main message of the article will be very helpful so as i said when we need to go into the readers mind of point of view we need to make it more precise and very clear in the form of objectives giving some hypothesis of the article and the real outcome benefit which can be uh, you know outpost by reading an introduction part next so when we look into the methodology 
of this particular article as i said it is a narrative review article so it is a non empirical theory based review paper having focus on resource based narrative theory in a particular sector authors have made their paper in a style that they have given certain narrations in the form of certain empirical based review now empirical based review is merely observational review what they have felt from their observations what they have thought upon so considering that empirical theory they have thought upon into the resource based narrative theory in a particular sector of ayurved education the aim design and the setting of the study dives deeply into the description of the theory and its underlying assumptions then organizes a systematic review of relevant literature according to various perspectives through which the theory has been applied in the mindset of the students in accordance with the covid-19 pandemic situation this is what authors they have given their narration in the complete article the authors have specified relevant problems populations constructs and the settings of the interest in terms of student domain they have most importantly covered the student domain aspect because ultimately the student is the one who is not getting that particular benefit in terms of clinical and practical point of orientations next again authors they have made a very lucid description of all processes interventions and comparisons which have been mentioned in the paper considering the students mindset it also discusses common pitfalls and how the ayurved education and teaching has been affected both physically as well as psychologically from the teacher and students point of view authors have thrown light on the fact that the education has changed dramatically with the distinctive rise of e learning whereby teaching is undertaken remotely and on digital platforms you know when we look into the uh, the complete uh, article what has been published by the authors they have just given a random topic also they have not uh, gone into the uh, you know systemic review or the you know open uh, rightly said as the randomized review they have given a certain topics which has been covered by the authors but in a very uh, precise manner they have mentioned the methodology in the considering the mindset of the ayurvedic fraternity from both academic as well as but mostly on the student domain sector they have highlighted next researchers have highlighted certain dearth such as the weakness of online teaching infrastructure the limited exposure of teachers to online teaching the information gap non conducive environment for learning at home equity and academic excellence in terms of clinical orientations when it comes to patient side they have very uh, you know in a very lucid manner very clear manner they have mentioned those observational things in their article the descriptive nature of the paper make it seem one of the easiest parts of the manuscript to write so as i was saying when it comes to a review article the narrative based review articles are the most simplest and the touching part which have most engorged or the engagement with the audience however this is also the part where the details are often missed while writing and sometimes during reading due to its highly technical nature because considering now if i want to write any article that would be probably my observation my mindset what i have been thinking upon considering as a mass that could be different from individual to individual next again a short analysis of the missing facts in the methodology part insufficient data from actual observation or experimentation conducted as i said it is a merely observational narrative review paper instead a method based review paper selection could have been easily described in a detail with the key design now this method based review paper selection are such topics in which there are certain systemic reviews specifically considering this m star now m star is such that it is a tool a measurement tool to assess the systemic review considering the critical appraisals in that manner it becomes more logical considering the specific data certain sectors 
so if it is more methodical it could have been more better uh, you know reachable to the audience also event study methodology provides a road map for conducting event studies and compares this approach with the current study analysis also though the authors they have done both the uh, you know past uh, uh, when we look into the you know discussions and results they have compared and they have taken certain citations also from different articles which are, have been already published they have tried to incorporate all those things also but they have not uh, uh you know uh, they have not write uh, written any kind of a data in that particular studies okay any investigation or researchers have missed a little investigation causes for concern and proposed remedies which should have been highlighted in the paper the semi structured questionnaire in the form of a simple google form survey or something which have which is which could have been used to collect data for statistical analysis the for for making it more methodical in a meta analytical way make it more easy for the catching of that article so this was the little part which was missing in that particular article which was published next <clears throat> sorry now coming to the results as i said the article has not shown any kind of a specific structured thing that there needs to be an introduction then uh, you know the particular materials and methods and then coming to the uh, discussion part conclusion part all those things are missing as it is a pure narrative this is my uh, the, you know this is the uh, mindset of a author when he writes an uh, narrative review paper that there are no specific headings making it more catchy and everything but they give uh, they have given a more clear lucid narrations in the form of different topics so one of the topic subheading which they had incorporated was the impact of covid-19 on ayurved education only but here some of the results which have been mentioned by the authors that they have found that online learning is beneficial and effective in the present pandemic situation which helps to learn from home and minimize the educational loss also there is a paradigm shift in the way of educators delivers quality education through various online platforms also they have incorporated all those results in their narrations they have also incorporated that transitioning from traditional face to face learning to online learning can be an entirely different experience for the learners and the educators which they must adapt to with little or no other alternatives available now ayurved or any medical science being a professional you know course professional science that needs more of uh, you know in depth knowledge and everything so they have uh, made the results in such a manner that they have given an idea about those particular results which have been incorporated in their article next they have also shown that yeah next please they have also highlighted the results in the form of that the education system and the educators have adopted education in emergency through various online platforms and are compelled to adopt a system that they are not prepared for now this has again incorporated because of the covid-19 situation what they have highlighted in their paper that not each and every individual probably will be ready or was ready to incorporate those kind of uh, stuff in the form of online teaching because many of us we are not so good in the technological part though the it is a need of an hour but they have incorporated such things in their paper which is making it more interesting that such things are actually happening in our ayurveda education also these are certain barriers authors have used uh, they have used of suitable and relevant pedagogy for online education may which may depend upon the expertise and exposure to information and communication technology for both educators and the learners also so they have given certain pedagogy in the form of online education of different different platforms which are being used for the online studies and the challenges which are being faced during those online uh, you know studies at different platforms they have incorporated certain results in their article next these are uh, some of the you know points or the observations uh, which authors they have not mentioned in their article as i said it is a narrative review they have not given a specific discussion part but certain observations which could be highlighted through this part 
and in and can be incorporated in the discussion part these are certain observations which authors they have tried to highlight in their article number 1 perception of ayurved faculty members on effect of lockdown examination is greatly affected by the lockdown both internal and at university level they have incorporated certain things the conventional classes internal assessment examinations practical sessions etc are affected badly which they have given through their observational mindsets personal contact with student is necessary for a professional course now we are unable to identify the weak students and do not know whether malpractices are occurring during examination now these are certain very good observations which authors they have incorporated in the article probably we might uh, you know we might be seeing all these things as an academician that how these things are actually affecting both at the academic level and as well as the development level of that particular student clinical practices practical experience and the case studies etc are affected by the lockdown also there is no one to one uh, you know uh, face to face connectivity with the patients also many a times because of the lockdowns and everything so considering their lack of understanding of the clinical orientation that has also been observed by the authors in a very lucid manner and they have incorporated in the point wise manner so number one point was perception of ayurvedic faculty next number two they have incorporated uh, as a result in the form of they have the perceived difficulties of online teaching comparing face to face learning with online learning brings forth significant deficiencies in the online mode such as lack of human contact absence of opportunities of collaborative learning also so these are certain things which they have incorporated in their article in the form of their observations teacher supervision and the most glaring being lack of opportunities for hands on learning in practical oriented subjects now considering ayurveda as a science and the subjects which are being brought into the you know uh, the prospective of the students domain all the subjects considering they need one or certain level of clinical and practical orientations for the students but considering this impact of covid 19 they have highlighted certain points in their articles next number 3 challenges in teaching and learning considering specifically from both academicians and the student mindset they have incorporated that with the availability of a sea of platforms online platforms and uh, online educational tools the users both educators and the learners they face frequent hiccups while using it or referring to those tools you know uh, the time we started this probably journal club we had certain technical you know technical issues so we can imagine that we are into such a field that if anything you know uh, goes uh, you know from the technical point of view if any misleading are happening or you know certain hiccups are there in the technical parts the understanding becomes very difficult in our science or any field probably but these are the things which the authors they have very beautifully observed and they have narrated in their article next so coming to the some of the challenges which probably authors they have identified and highlighted by the researchers they are summarized below broadly the authors have broadly identified the challenges with e learning which are having accessibility affordability flexibility learning pedagogy lifelong learning and the education policy they have given a very brief summary in some of the headings in the article they have also highlighted that some academically competent learners from economically disadvantaged backgrounds are unable to assess and afford online learning also authors have described about that it is also possible that some students careers might benefit from the interruptions also you know as i was saying that authors they have given both advantages and little disadvantages also the advantages in the sense that the certain sector of students who were weak in the studies who were not coping up with the you know the quality of the education being given to them they got little time to cope up with all those matters you know they got time to understand the concept in a deeper manner this was the biggest advantage for any kind of a, you know educational policy that they got more time to understand the concepts when it comes to any kind of a field specifically medical and ayurveda so 
also authors have described that it has forged a strong connection between teachers and parents than never before this was probably one of the most important thing that connectivity of parents and teachers they it becomes more a first year student coming in a bms ayurveda charya you know and uh, lockdown happened they were not in a position to understand anything about the you know ayurvedic just coming from a you know 12th background and reading it and understanding of that many of the international students they were who have taken admissions in the first year so they were not able to you know incorporate about or understand the concept so authors they have observed and they have narrated all those things in their article they have also showed that severe impact on the psychological and emotional development of the healthcare giver has been observed by the authors in their article next now coming to the conclusion of this particular article what the authors they have concluded in their article they have concluded very precisely and in a very nutshell manner authors have very precisely and in a very particular uh, you know manner they have concluded that there will be a return to the previous approach to the provision of education as existed before the pandemic especially the contribution of technology for enhancing teaching and learning in the field of ayurved education you know we have been in touch with all of us you know different platforms the educations the online webinars and everything but that has made us more connected and very beautifully authors have mentioned in their article that the time will come that this will help us to understand more in terms of understanding of the concepts in terms of you know because that has given more uh, audio visual thing to those uh, you know learners including ad- academicians and students they have given a brighter side of it authors have concluded that the use of technology in teaching and learning may also help to bring advances in traditional teaching learning methodology in the future also so very precisely and very in a very uh, you know conclusive manner they have mentioned in a very nutshell manner the conclusion of that particular article next next please now when we look into the references of these articles uh, very beautifully and very uh, you know conducively they have mentioned that authors they have used 14 references they have given uh, 14 uh, you know references in their article which have been uh, taken from the past studies or comparative studies of different articles which have been published on the same topic before also but in a very beautiful manner in a very pedagogy and in a structural manner the references have been put up in the article next so coming to critical analysis of yeah next please hello am i audible yes doctor you are audible hello yes you are audible hello hello <coughs> yeah we can hear you yeah uh i am audible okay okay the yes. slide got stuck so i couldn't understand that yeah okay so coming to the critical yeah coming to the critical analysis of the references what um, hello hello yeah hello audible? yes we can yes we can hear you yeah fine perfect so yes i was talking about these uh, technical hiccups now these technical hiccups are not going to uh, you know make us more conducive in terms of one to one connectivity is everything but yes uh, talking about this critical analysis of the references which have been uh, taken up by the authors in the article so there are 14 references which have been taken by the uh, you know authors with 28 citations there are references for every citation done in the text part in the article 
and there are enough references considering a narrative theory based review article should have considering an just a mere observation on narrative study the authors they have very beautifully they have written enough references for a narrative review article there are references to recent publications also as was as i was discussing about that referencing is done in a vancouver style which is a numbered citation style as per the journal guidelines they have clearly followed that particular article next please so coming to the critical decisive discussion what uh, could be critically analyzed by this particular article the particular article has a very meaningful explanation considering the present situation going through the paper does highlight important findings of the study there is enough explanation of all the narrations which have been mentioned by the authors authors have compared and listed out the current scenario in a very lucid and cogent manner with some of the past reported literatures as per the references number 7 11 and 14 which they have mentioned in their article the comparison is logical and reasoned very properly it does open a new horizon for further research as similar studies can be carried out in the form of pilot study survey study questionnaire format direct method based studies etc for better meta analysis next please now coming to the most important part of any of the journal club meeting what are the what is the internal validity and the external validity of that in order to make it more uh, you know clear to the audience this internal validity and external validity they are in a very conducive manner known to be as the how much authors they have done the justification to the study the truth in the study what has been published by the authors and the truth in the real life that is an external validity so we'll be doing the both internal and the external validity of this particular article next please coming to the internal validity which is making sure that the cause effect relationship which has been highlighted by the authors in their article it gives no other explanation other than the topic what they have considered so the particular study personal comprised of a team having a good and admirable academic as well as irrefutable orientations given by the authors the data design has been mentioned in a narrative review form manner standardized online teaching learning and assessment systems are provocative for the ed ayurveda education authors have constantly goaded and mentioned to grow out through the covid-19 pandemic situation the results of this study suggest that more emphasis should be placed on ayurved education both in clinical and in the practical way the authors have discussed the internal validity threats in social and educational research with special reference to ayurved learning next please coming to the external validity now this is the real life truth and we need to understand this that technological advances are here to stay and crises such as the current pandemic only come to highlight the digital deficit not just in terms of supporting technology or student skills but also and perhaps most importantly as regards teachers perceptions attitudes and actual preparedness consequently the teacher educators need to prepare to understand that online teaching requires its own set of skills tools and teaching practices this is the most important external validity we need to understand and this is the most critical part of any uh, you know understanding of uh, the specific article what we are going through next please last but not the least a very beautiful thing uh, i would like to end up my uh, you know presentation with this that acharya charak in charak samhita sutra sthan he has mentioned that there are certain sectors in which any article what we are uh, writing for any kind of a publication it should have one thought in mind tantra gun which has been highlighted as the ancient criteria for scientific writing which shows precise characteristic of good scientific writing of an ancient literature of any field it suggested that good scientific writing should be clear simple impartial and structured logically so this is what we need to keep in mind while publishing any article and this particular article has been structured in a very lucid narrative manner last line next please thank you so much for
patiently listening me and uh, giving me an opportunity to be a part of this platform thank you so much thank you so much uh, dr sushant and it was wonderful presentation uh, can we take questions if uh, we have a couple of minutes Uh, can we take questions hello hello am i audible doctor uh ma'am please i'll be happy i'll be happy if certain questions are there i'll be happy to uh justify those questions please okay uh i i am asking for questions in the chat box uh, meanwhile i can just ask you one more question from my side uh, you mentioned about prisma checklist and it is very critical uh, checklist which you highlighted in your presentation uh, can you uh, share some more insights about it if somebody wants to write a critical review uh, just share some of the insights on prisma checklist and where they can find that most important uh definitely definitely ma'am ma'am uh, see as i was talking about this particular article this is a, a narrative review article but uh, currently uh, there are no specific uh, uh, what you can say an instrument or a tool available to assess the quality of a narrative review articles but considering a critical analysis narrative views are the commonest types of articles in the medical literature uh, probably uh, which can be published in any manner but however unlike systemic reviews or any randomized control uh, trials articles for which formal instruments exist in the form of uh, you know m star which is a measurement tool to assess systemic review or rcts uh, you know we call it as casp casp which gives us a critical appraisal skill program checklist now all those things they are mentioned in nlm that is the national uh, library management school uh, from those things we uh, you know we can download certain checklist while preparing an article whether it is in review form or any uh, kind of a uh, you know narrative form but critical appraisal tools have been very well developed for systemic reviews and for the rcts that is random control trial studies but now recently uh, probably in the year uh, of 2010 onwards they have started with the S A N R A. That is the Sanera. It is one of the uh, systemic, uh, you know, assessment narrative review tool. S A N R A, through which we can, uh, you know, Prisma review critical analysis can be uh, downloaded by the uh, by the authors, and they can get a checklist that before writing a narrative critical analysis, also what all things needs to be kept in mind in order to have a observational, a survey. a questionnaire study or whether it is a methodology uh, you know methodological based critical review study so these are certain things which can be downloaded from nlm yeah uh, thank you so much for that update and uh, this checklist is very important in not only in terms of writing an article but also in reviewing the article so they can also see uh, some of the critical reviews are following that particular checklist and what is missing like uh, you have highlighted uh, uh, in your presentation also what was uh, missing and what can be done to make it better and how we can portray the whole idea of research uh, into that publication so it was interesting uh, presentation from your side sir and it uh, it is uh, indeed a pleasure listening to you so i believe our viewers have also enjoyed those who couldn't participate today they can uh, visit our facebook page council for ayurveda research journal club and there they can find out all the youtube links and even we are there on the youtube so uh, they can view us uh, this presentation later also and if there are any queries you can write us on ayurveda research usa at the rate gmail.com so we can forward those queries to dr sood and uh, we can get back to you and keep uh, reading keep uh, writing so that uh, we can keep on this activity of journal club <clears throat> together and i must say that uh, this activity is uh, entering a second year uh, for india chapter and we are looking forward to many researchers and academicians like you uh, to be on board with us thank you so much uh, okay, definitely
thank you thank you thank you so much for giving me this opportunity i'm i'm really delighted and happy to be a part of this and uh, let me know ma'am uh, you can share my slides and my contact details to your participants to the audience who ever wants to have certain ideas about this so i'm not a pro in this uh, aspect but uh, considering the expertise and everything i would be little of help to your audience so i'll be happy to assist anytime thank you so much thank you thank you so much and it was uh, very nice to listen from you and uh, I, i believe that we all are learners in this whole uh, research area for ayurveda we are all students and this activity will keep, uh, keep us going and uh, will encourage uh, new writers also so i also would like to thank dr yashaswini for her help uh, during the whole presentation and volunteering for this act uh, the whole uh, meeting was organized and uh, uh, she helped me uh, in the whole uh, organization of this meeting and setup so thank you so much for that and i would also appreciate the time and uh, the time all the participants have put up uh, when the technical issue was also going on so i must appreciate their patience and the zeal to listen to our article for today's presentation so thank you so much everyone and uh, uh, from on behalf of general club india chapter i take your leave and uh, we will meet again in the next month thank you so much namaste